very honored to be able to attend this international conference today. I live in mountains of Western Tokyo alone. I am blessed with nature. My family has lived here for 700 years. Until before World War II, our village was a circular society. To my mind, a village nestled in the valley and uh, surrounded by mountains is the epitome of a sustainable society and the microcosmos of a society in harmony with nature. Today, I introduce you a uh, very famous uh, in, um, village in Japan created uh, by Japanese writer Saneatsu Musha no Koji, 1885-1976. He devoted himself to Tolstoy and built a new village and carried out a practical movement. In this line with concept prosumer, this village, this village aimed for self-sufficiency. Eight hours a day work. They work six hours a day and they made their living through agriculture. But uh, they encountered many difficulties. And uh, 10 years ago, they introduced solar power generation so as to solve financial difficulties. But uh, it's uh, their judgment was correct or not. It's a big problem. And uh, I want to consider more in the future. And uh, I'm very happy to be here with you. And uh, do you know movie director Akira Kurosawa? He is a very famous uh, movie director, maybe the most famous inhabitant of New Village is the youngest, was Hideo Omni. He became later a main scenario writer of movie director Akira Kurosawa. And now the inhabitants of New Village are getting older almost to reach 80. And the population of this village, only eight. It's not sustainable. How can we do such a case? Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Professor Matsu, for your deeply considerations and idea that you have been sharing with us. And I, I'm sure that we uh, take it account for the future seminars and uh, why not future papers. And I'm so sorry because the time is running. Now we have uh, to share the time with uh, Andrea Echigoletto from University.